Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review and try this new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fine. This is a concealer, this is full coverage concealer and contour. Now, I have these in three shades. I bought in C3, C6 and C7, so 3, 6 and 7. I watched a lot of videos with swatches because I was I wasn't sure what what shade I would order, so I ordered three that I thought would be good for my skin tone. Now, I did watch people comparing this to ta Tarte Tape Shape. I don't own that concealer, and I think I'm never going to be able because it's too expensive to ship to Sweden. I want to compare it to Maybelline, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser that everyone knows about and this shade reminds me of number 7. I'm going to swatch so you can see and if you own this and or had this or tried this you maybe can uh, see if, if any of these three shades will suit you. Now this is in light, this Maybelline that I'm going to compare it to. Now I already have my foundation, I've used, let me see if start, I have this hangover primer and I also took this from uh, Benefit the Pore Primer too and I did use this foundation, this is the Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup from Estee Lauder, also something that I really really like and enjoy using right now and I think uh, my skin is feeling much better so this coverage is perfect. Now, uh, let's go over to the concealers. I'm going to swatch all three shades. I want you to see them. And I did try them a couple of times, uh, three times actually, and I did mix the shades. And I do like it. It doesn't, I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and it doesn't set into my fine lines. It does look a little bit dry, but I think it's the powder that I set it with. But it doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel heavy, it's full coverage and I love, love this concealer. Uh, so let's do the swatches. This is C3. I'm going to see C6. No, 3, 6. Now 3 is um, more like pinkish undertone. This six, number 6 is more uh, has more a yellow undertone. The swatches are terrible, but you're going to see them. And we have number seven. So here we have number three, six, and seven. All three shades. I'm actually going to swatch this one also. So you can compare. I can swatch it here because I think it looks uh, very close, similar to the number seven. Let's swatch it. And then I have this, uh, this is light, and this is NW20 from MAC. Go going to swatch that one. I'm going to let them dry. And also the new one that I used a couple of times, this is 2C Light Medium Cool from uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear. So, as you can see, this is the light from uh, Maybelline and it's very close to this number 7. The 7 is a, a little bit darker, but it's not a big difference. So what I did, I mixed the number 7 and 3 together when I tried it on my skin. Now this one is a MAC and W20, so it's, I think it's very close to number 7 also and we have this number C C2 let me see this is number 2C light medium cool from Estee Lauder so number 6 maybe is perfect shade actually I can use all three shades I think I can use number 6 by, uh, by itself and number three is a little bit too light and this is a, just a little bit too dark. So if I, I kind of mixed number three and seven together, I get that perfect shade. But this six also looks, 
even if they are different undertones, I think they work fine for my skin tone. Kind of like these three. They are full coverage, they are lightweight, they feel very nice on the skin. I really like them. So, we are all going to try it on my skin. Not to try it, but we, I'm going to use it. I don't have any concealer on. I didn't set anything because I wanted to try these concealers. So let's zoom in and try them on the skin. Uh, I'm not going to do this full day review because I did wear, wear this for at least 12, 13 hours and it didn't set into my fine lines under my eyes and it didn't crease, it didn't look heavy. Uh, so I think it's a beautiful product. I'm going to do use number seven and use number three like I did a couple of times and I really like them. My beauty blend is not clean because I did use it today for my uh, foundation. Now I have to say you have to work very fast because this dries down fast. It doesn't dry down completely but it does dry down so it's going to be kind of hard to, uh, to blend. So you have to blend it fast. This is also cr cruelty free. So I like it. Let's start with number three. And then we're going to use number seven. And I'm going to blend. I did put a little bit too much, but it's just so you can see how it blends beautifully. So I did blend it very fast because it does dry down, but it doesn't dry down com completely. So you have to set it with a powder. But it does dry down, so it's going to be harder to blend it if you do, if you put it all over the all over your face and then try to blend it. So I don't know if you can see, guys, but it looks very nice under my eyes. And it did cover up my dark circles. I think so. I'm looking at myself in the mirror, so I see what I'm doing. I'm going to take number six and put it a little bit and highlight a little bit with that shade as you can see it dries down very fast it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't look heavy and I really really like it I'm going to use this setting powder from Makeup Revolution, Revolution Lace Pink Undertone. I don't know if you can see it. Take away any creasing before we set it. And we are going to bake. So while this is baking, I'm going to finish my makeup and be, I'll be right back. I don't know if you can see, but I think it looks very nice. It does look a little bit, when I smile, see, you can see my fine lines and it looks a little bit dry. But it looks like that with every concealer that I use. But it doesn't settle into, into my fine lines and I really, really like that. So of course I'm getting old, so I have to have fine lines under my eyes, but I kind of really, really like how this looks. Uh, I have to say, under my eyes. Like I said, number six I can uh, probably use by itself, but number three and seven I have to mix because three is a little bit too light for my taste. Of course I can use it if I really want that light under eyes. Right now I really like that natural highlight under my eyes. I don't like the, it to be too light. I have to say I'm very very happy that I got these concealers and I was so glad that they arrived very fast. I'm definitely going to use them. Definitely is going to be something that I reach for because I do. 
I'm out of this and I didn't actually like it that much. In the beginning I did, but I kind of find it setting into my fine lines and then getting cakey under my eyes and getting heavy if I really have those dark circles and I put a lot of this. It just looks too cakey after a couple of hours. So I didn't really like that and I, that's why I'm not, not going to repurchase this. It's just something that I can live without. But actually these I really, really like. As you saw, I put a lot of it and actually I can use maybe half of that amount that I put uh, on today. Now, does wear very long time. It doesn't fade, doesn't crease, doesn't look heavy, doesn't look cakey. It can probably be the powder too that I put over it. But I really like that this powder from Makeup Revolution. I love Makeup Revolution and actually not all of the eyeshadow palettes are perfect but those Reloaded that I just uh, reviewed on my channel, those four new, I love all of those and I use them every, every day. Now today on my eyes I actually have this Morphe palette. This is the 3502 because uh, I wanted this natural makeup look because I'm actually going to review another palette today. I'm going to film a couple of more videos. And on my lips I have a mix. This is Cheek from Makeup Revolution and Sugar Daddy from uh, Medusans Makeup. So a mix of those, these two on my lips. Please let me know if you try these and what you, what you think about them. I think they're worth the price. Uh, I think they're amazing. They're actually the best concealers that I've tried. My new favorite. That was everything I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Don't forget to enter my giveaway that, that it's still open. And uh, see you in my next video. Bye!